I'm on the phone with the Indian phone scammer pretending to be Microsoft. How can I assist you today? Little does she know that I'm not a victim but a hacker and I'm about to teach her a lesson. Can you have a look on your monitor right now? Yes. What's going on? On your screen? Tell me. It's working weird, I think. <laughs> Should I tell you what happened? Yes, actually, I just received a call from your end. So are you looking for any technical assistance? Uh, yeah, do you help with the HP printers? Because yesterday my printer was working and today it isn't. And I need mm -hmm. to print on really important documents before uh, before the new year. So I'm running out of time. Uh, yesterday it was mm -hmm. working. I wanted to finish my work today. And, and and it's, it's, it's just okay. not printing. I filled the paper. I filled the ink. It's not doing anything. And look, I'm willing to pay a lot of money if you can get this to work because, like I said, it's important I get this out before basically Sunday. Okay. I'll try to help you out with the issue you're facing. But before that, can you please help me out with your name? Billy Hawk. First of all, can you please help me out with the model and make number of your printer? It's a LaserJet Enterprise MFP. These guys claim they can help with a lot of computer-related problems. At first glance, they seem legit. But when you let them in your computer, they very quickly get into the typical tech scammer tricks like Event Viewer and Netstat. So Billy, now further what we will do, I'll just go ahead and connect your laptop to my workstation to our secure connection and i'll just go ahead and check the settings the drivers and the updates for the printer and then we will figure it out that why we are facing this problem with the printer okay okay so please open google chrome uh, in your device google chrome or microsoft edge any one of the web browser okay google are you in a chrome or an edge okay now uh, click on the search bar and we have to search for any desk Dot com. The scammer wanted me to download AnyDesk, a software that lets the scammer connect and control my computer. Let's give her access. Then we are going to let Trapper hack her. Okay, now I see a bunch of stuff. What is this? Free license, non-professional use, start trial license or buy, your address, a bunch of numbers. Okay, help me out with those numbers. A few minutes later. Oh, hang on. I got a security warning. Check that box. I'm aware of the risk and then click on accept. The scammer is now connected to our computer and we got access into her computer. We immediately started to download all of her files. Normally, these kind of scammers are rude and always lie about their location. But this girl was actually really nice and opened up to me. Okay, Billy, thank you. And now I have the You're screen welcome. sharing is on. So now I will just go ahead and check that why we are facing that problem with the printer, okay? Yes. Till that time, you can just sit back and relax. And I will just download all of the files. So Billy, how was your new uh, Christmas party? Oh, it was wonderful. We had a lot of delicious food. How was yours? <laughs> oh, that's great. Mine was also great. So basically, I'm currently I'm located in India, but uh, yeah, our party was also very great. Oh, you're in India. Yes. Have you ever I, been to India? I've been there like 20 years ago for a couple of days, actually. I really loved it. It was in uh, ah, okay. New Delhi, the capital city, New Delhi. Yeah, I'm in Delhi, right? Oh, wow. So I remember I bought some electronics at this place. What was the name? Um, Chor Bazaar? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got some electronics there for a really good price. I love the food. I miss the food. <laughs> love it. That's great. Thank you. So do you need, uh, know the meaning of chore? No. So basically the chore bazaar is kind of, uh, we can say it's a thief market. Thief market? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> chore wow. means thief. So basically they used to say, uh, sell those, uh, you know, all the accessories on a low price. That's why yeah. it's uh, named as Chor Bazaar. Oh, wow. I did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a happy mood right now, but actually I'm really annoyed because that's a $6,000 printer that's not working. You know, it, it's really like headache. You know what I mean? Headache. I can understand that. E even when things are it's bad, bad, you should always be happy, right? Yeah, right. If you stay positive, then there are chances that things will become well. Yes. And beside, I got you on the line.
<laughs> so what's your plan for the new year? Any great parties? Well, I got a bottle of Blue Label. You know Blue Label? Uh, yeah, I know. You like it? Yeah, I like it. Nice. It's expensive. It's good, right? Everything expensive is good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, we had uh, one festival named as Diwali. Have you heard about it? Yes, Diwali. That's like two months ago or so. Yeah, right. Yeah. So at that time also, we do purchase a lot of firecrackers and all. And it should be like a great occasion occasion for us right yeah so at that time we used to stock for everything and that will long till new year wow that long yeah so like we used to keep that stuff till new year and then we celebrate new year with all those stuffs like with firecrackers and with the booze and everything oh that sounds fun you like to party yeah huh? yeah <laughs> <laughs> is there a lot of good places to go to in delhi I, w I haven't gone out there when I was there 20 years ago. Oh, okay. And 20 years ago, I must say, you know, might be not that modular how it is right now. While I was talking to this girl, Trapper planted payloads on her computer, as you can see here. He asked me what to do next, and I decided to destroy the scammer. Could you do me a favor? What was your name again? Sorry? Rudrakshika. Yes, it's a nice name. Hey, Rudrakshika, can you have a look on your monitor right now? Time to destroy your computer. Yes. What's going on? On your screen? Tell me. It's working weird, I think. <laughs> okay. Should I tell you what happened? Mm-hmm. I'm actually a hacker and I put something really bad on your computer. And there's nothing you can do anymore to stop it. Okay, you can do whatever you want. It's my work system, so you will not get anything. Um, well, you know, it's not personal, okay? It's not personal, it's just business, you know? I think I think you're a nice person, but I don't think you're doing nice things, okay? I know you're doing 420 scam, man. I'm here to put a stop to that. Yeah, your computer is toast. That's no bueno no more. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she did sound like a nice person. I, I do agree. but. Let that be a lesson, guys. Just because someone sounds kind doesn't mean shit. The nicer someone sounds, the more dangerous they are in terms of scamming. If you want to learn more about scams and how to prevent falling victim to them, go to scambait.online and follow me and Trapper on Twitter. Join our Discord at scambait.online. If you like what we do, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have questions or ideas, please leave a comment. If you want to report the scam, do mail us. Also, here's a couple more great videos to watch. Thanks for watching everyone.